Okay, family, so um, I was just about to wrap up these videos. I've done um, quite a few and I've got your readings to do. www.celestotireadings.com <clears throat> I am booked up for the next seven days. Uh, very, very, very busy. But um, <clears throat> Lisa Marie, Lisa Marie Presley, okay? Why do I, why am I doing videos on her, okay? Um, Lisa had a mysterious death, okay? And um, there are just some, th th you know, she is the child of an icon and her life was very, very meaningful. And I feel like she was taken away before she stuck, I feel like she was taken away. I feel like she was subdued, broken down, um, and then taken away from us before she had a chance to tell her story. Um, I, I think there is a conspiracy over her death in terms of how she died, when she died, who was around her when she passed away what was taken out of her house, what were people looking for, um, and and why, why people, why other people haven't spoken, spoken out about her. She was so fiercely and tremendously loyal to a lot of people, and I feel like in death, we haven't had that same energy from people who she had their backs. I'm talking about like her former Scientology cronies and, and so on and 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 I hate to say it like that but you know Lisa was gonna testify you know there was some talk about her testifying in support of um, the, the Jane Doe's and then you know by the same token when she was part of Scientology and everything was alright between her and David there was this thing of them using Lisa to get this girl to basically not make a criminal complaint against um, Danny Masterson and all of that has kind of just gone by the by since Lisa has passed away but it ain't slipped past, it ain't gone past me you know what I mean if all these cars are coming past then they're all purple and then there's one yellow one I'm going to point out there oh, there's a yellow one over there I can't ignore it and then the contrary reports about, you know, when she actually died and what happened and, and, and stuff like that. And then what her mother is saying completely contradicts what was in the news, what was in the media. And I read everything that came out as it came out, hour by hour. Do you understand? So <clears throat> that is why I'll sit and I'll think about stuff in regards to, you know, Lisa Marie Presley. Now, of course, her autobiography has come out and let me just I, you know let me answer Sam I always called flipping spade a spade but that's not Lisa's autobiography that's that's Riley Kios that's Riley writing a book about her mum that Priscilla that doesn't make Priscilla look like an evil witch that's basically what it is and one of you made a comment and I can't remember exactly who it was but thank you for the comment you said that Lisa kind of suffered from the same thing our father suffered from just too damn nice too damn nice to people too damn generous to people let a lot of people slide I don't know where Elvis got that from was his mum like that Vernon weren't like that so where did he get such a you know generous overly generous spirit form was was it was he compensated for something or what i don't really get it but at least i had the same thing <coughs> you know where mummy took the most liberties and lisa didn't call her out on it now we got riley riley calling her her grandma or nothing. you know what i'm saying it's not like we want Riley to say, my grandmother is such a bitch. Do you know what she was doing? We don't want it like that. We'd be like, oh, what? What would you say, Riley? Okay, that would be completely out of keeping with, with Riley. But what, from what we know, she and Priscilla are two pieces of the pod. They're very similar. Which is why Navarone liked Riley so much. 
he didn't really have much to say about the twins. He said, they're still growing, or whatever it was that he, <laughs> that he said. But Navarone did not like Riley's mother. Now, I don't know what it is about me, but, you know, if it was my mother, and I, and I love my mother, you can't talk shit about my mum. You can't go on A.A. Ron. Some of y'all saying you like A.A. Ron as well. He's bald head. <laughs> yeah. Um, he got a twinkle in his eye, is not he? He's very sexy. But anywho. Uh, yeah. Navarone went on there and he trashed Lisa. He trashed Lisa. He had people in the comments saying, Oh, poor Navarone. He's really been through it. Oh, my gosh. His father was a con man and Priscilla wasn't really, you know, she didn't really parent him. He's kind of like a wild child, whatever. No, Navarone was bad. He was a naughty boy. He was bad. And he used to he used to play off his mother and Lisa type of thing and, and, and play up his mother's favouritism of him. See, because with Navarone, there was no strings attached to him. Priscilla was just free to love him. She didn't have to kind of, you know, because Lisa was sassy. Lisa spoke her mind. Lisa was very Memphis. Yeah, here, uh, uh, what's that, um, Riley, she said that her mum was a, what did she say? Her mum was a, was a hillbilly. That's what she said in, in Vanity Fair. And I thought, oh, God, Riley, I thought, you know who you're talking to, these folks at Vanity Fair. What, what is it, Vanity Fair? Or Vogue? I can't remember what, what it was now. But basically, like, the image that she gave of her mother. Lisa couldn't have been that much of a hillbilly, could she? Because she married Michael Jackson after all. And you know, he's a guy from Gary, Indiana. Do you know what I mean? The gangster father, Joe Jackson, is extremely old school, no nonsense. So it's very unlikely that Michael Jackson would have married a hillbilly. Do you know what I mean? But, um, you know, that was the impression that Riley was given. Like, that's the hillbilly side. Of, she's over here on the woke side of Hollywood type of thing. And I was like... And then, of course, people are saying, but they're not really saying. You know, it's come up, a, it's come up a few times. You know, it's an uncomfortable question, but it has come up a few times. People talking about, well, you know, what, what, what happened to Ben? What really did happen to him? I have done one reading on Ben, and I did promise that I would do another one. And like, what happened to him and, you know, and then what happened to his girlfriend as well? We didn't hear, hide nor hear of her afterwards. Just a lot of questions. It, it's, it seems that what we want them to talk about, they're not talking about. And so, you know, unless we do divination, are we ever going to get the real story? Are we ever going to get the real, I don't even want to call it tea. Because <coughs> that cheapen, cheapen things, you know what I mean? Was Scientology involved in the death of Lisa Marie Presley? Did they use Priscilla to try and get Lisa Marie to change her mind about anything. They said that she was going to testify and then they said that she wasn't going to be needed anymore. It was a semi-accusation of her trying to persuade a witness not to cooperate with law enforcement and then that was retracted once Lisa got her attorneys involved. So, so it's a lot. And then, you know, we have this question, this what if question. I was thinking about it yesterday. I said to myself, 
you know, we know how Priscilla has behaved over the money, over Lisa's life insurance money in the will. <laughs> she sued Riley's ass, you know, days after the memorial. That's it, memorial's finished now. Let's go after Riley. You know, there was no talking. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And then Riley lied. Riley lied and said things have never not been okay. All right. If that were true, Riley, how come Nona didn't come to you and talk to you before she put them legal papers on you? If everything is okay between grandma and granddaughter, there'll be talks, there'll be dinners, let's have lunch, let's talk this over. Oh gosh, is this mummy's will? Uh, and, and that's their life insurance policy. Wow, that's quite a lot. I didn't know that she had that much. You know what I mean? And uh, she didn't mention me in it. Oh, God. Well, you know, I've got this and that to pay off and all the rest of it and so on and so forth. And it's in a way that... Do you know what I mean? Oh, no. It was straight in <laughs> with the attorneys. <laughs> Priscilla didn't date Rob Kardashian for nothing. And that reminds me that I was going to do a reading on them uh, weeks ago in that what was removed from Lisa Marie Presley's house. Because when OJ, the same day or the next day after OJ was chased down the highway <laughs> by the cops, Rob Kardashian Sr. went to OJ's house and removed a big Louis Vuitton case full of evidence right under the nose of the police department. Yeah, he did. There's pictures of it. Rob Kardashian Sr. Put the, put the Louis Vuitton case on the floor between his legs and he's got his arms crossed and he's there talking with the cops and, you know, concern on everybody's face. Oh my gosh, this man and his wife, you know, and, 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 and she's dead and Ronald Goldman and my gosh, you know, what the hell is this? And Rob Kardashian Sr. had a suitcase full of Louis Vuitton bag full of stuff that he took out of OJ's house under the nose of the cops. So you think that Priscilla uh, ain't learned any, any, any naughty tricks and that things were not moved? removed from from uh, we call it from Lisa's house in fact there's an argument to say that Priscilla went to Lisa's house before she even went to the hospital and that sounds terrible doesn't it oh <laughs> that's why she was really blindsided by that will it was like oh And she knew about the amendment, but she never had a, an a pro, she never had a problem with the amendment then, because she always knew she was going to challenge it. She knew when Lisa was alive. It doesn't matter, because if anything happened to this 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 uh, girl, uh, I just challenged the will anyway. Danielle will understand because she and I see eye to eye. And Danielle, Riley, know that Nona don't play. She know I don't play. Everybody know Priscilla don't play. Scientology just operate just like any other organization or cult or church out there that really drives a wedge in people's families but this seemed to be to the extreme 
the lady called Shelly Miskovich. She gone. We ain't seen her like Kate. I've mentioned Shelly Miskovich's name. Look at her, what's her name? A Re a Leia, Leia Remini. <clears throat> She's been asking for Shelly for years. No one's taken her seriously. So. So yeah, so I'll do a few, I'll do another um, Lisa Marie reading in the next, um, in the next week or strong not weak and uh, focus more on Scientology you know, because there is <clears throat> I'm wondering if Diddy is a Scientologist right? I know you might laugh hearing me say that oh Diddy find some way to drag him into this conversation <laughs> well, I haven't really done that many readings of him this this year. <clears throat> I believe last year I did, but not this year. Um, but he is very good friends with, what's his name? That strange guy. C Custin, uh, what's his name? You're not talking about it, Kutch now, whatever his name is. Three and a half men, two and a half men, him. And um, he was the one that provided the letter of support for Danny Masterson. Him and his wife, Mila Jovich and Astin Kuchner. Kucha Kuchner. <coughs> and that's Diddy's boy, that's Diddy's good friend. Now they're talking about tunnels underneath Diddy's house. And some of y'all said that they led to the Playboy Mansion. I said, no, 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 not that old tunnel. Not that. If there's a tunnel there, if they discovered a tunnel there under Diddy's house, it ain't, it's not one, it doesn't lead to the Playboy Mansion. It's not that one. Not that infamous one that Robert De Niro was down there. No, not that one. Is Robert De Niro, has he gone senile or something? I just thought I'd ask that question because he makes some strange statements sometimes, you know. He um, made a statement about his child that his child is, I don't know, it was just weird. <laughs> Buried in the fact that this is a baby and he's kind of making a, he's commenting on the baby like it's an adult. Something about being judgment free. The baby's so judgment free. Well, that's what children are. They are until... They're judgment free until we poison their minds with our opinions and our behaviors. And then of course, uh, he was there at the um, anti-Trump uh, rallying and this type of thing. He's a bit of a weirdo, isn't he? But anyway, I'll leave it right there. My name is Miss Sam and I will continue with these Lisa Marie Presley readings soon okay ashay bless chukudala inshallah later